Good morning, learners. Our subject for today is Science 5 for quarter 3, week 3. And our topic is How Light Interacts with Different Materials. And at the end of the lesson, you are expected to relate the ability of the materials to block, absorb, or transmit light to its use. For the introduction, in the previous lesson, we have learned that conductors are materials that allow heat and electricity to pass through easily, while insulators are materials that do not allow heat and electricity to pass through them. This time, you will learn how, to, how light interacts with different materials. Have you seen an artwork on a stained glass? Stained glass are seen in churches, at art museums, and even in some houses. The design on stained glasses are achieved through the use of glasses with various colors and use, making them a sight to behold. The light is, that is visible to the human eye is called visible light. It is the small part of the electromagnetic spectrum which affects our vision. Light is propagated in space as electromagnetic waves. This is known as electromagnetic wave the theory of light. The primary source of visible light is the sun. The visible light allows us to see the color that is not absorbed by the object. For example, you see most plants as green because the leaves absorb all colors of the visible light except for green. To understand light further, you have to learn how it is or how it interacts with different objects. And this branch of science is called optics. Optics is the study of refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Refraction refers to the bending of light as it passes through the different materials. For example, the pencil in the glass of water appears bent because of the different parts of the materials that interact with light. The part of the pencil that is not dipped in water interacts with the water. Light moves faster in air than in water. When light travels from air to water, its speed decreases. A medium is optically dense if it slows down the speed of light. This is why the pencil looks bent. Another is reflection. Reflection refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Some objects with flat surfaces like mirrors reflect light in a straight, in a straight predictable way. Some objects with an even surfaces like rocks reflect light in a scattered way. Another one is absorption. It refers to materials taking in light but not reflecting it back. For example, when light strikes a black surface, it is absorbed by the surface and nothing is reflected. And the last is transmission. It refers to the passing of light through some materials. For example, when light passes through a glass window, it is transmitted to the other side, allowing the light to pass through the window. There are different materials have different ways of transmitting light. First, transparent materials. Transparent materials allow all light to pass through them. 
clear plastic and glass windows are examples of transparent object. Another one is the translucent materials. It allows some light to pass through them, like stained glasses and frosted windows are examples of translucent objects. And the last one, we have opaque materials. It do not allow light to pass through them, like concrete walls, wooden doors, and mirrors are examples of opaque objects. For the development part, the activity that you are going to perform will clearly describe how light interacts with different materials. So for learning task 1, prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use other materials, materials of home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. The title of the activity is Refraction of Light. So what are the materials needed? A glass of water, 3 4 tool, crayons, white bond paper, pencil, and sunlight. And here are the procedures. First, bring the glass of water and paper to a part of the room with enough sunlight near a window is good now second hold the glass of water above the paper and watch as sunlight passes through it refracts or bends and forms a rainbow of colors on your sheet of paper third try holding the glass of water at different heights and angles to see if it has a different effect the last one, draw and color your observations. So here are the questions that you are about to answer after doing the activity. First, what do you see on the paper when the glass of water was exposed to sunlight? Two, what do you think caused the sunlight to refract or bend? Number three, what was the effect when the glass was held at different heights and angles? What does this show? Number four, what may happen when light passes through a glass of water? For learning task two, put a check mark on the column that describes whether the materials can transmit, absorb, or block light. So we have the following materials 1. Sunglasses 2. Cellophane 3. Rubber tire 4. Black shirt 5. Woods 6. Base 7. Dark cartolina 8. Red shirt 9. Plastic cap And the last one, number 10. Mirror So you will check whether the materials transmit light, absorb light, or block light. Okay, so let us answer learning task 1. So here are my answers. For the first one, sunglasses, it transmits light. Cellophane, it also transmits light. Rubber tire, it blocks light. Black shirt, absorb light. Woods, absorb light. Vase, block light. Dark cartolina, absorb light. Red shirt, absorb light. Plastic cup, transmit light. And number 10, mirror, it also transmit light. For learning task 3, use a Venn diagram to 
compare and contrast the following. So for letter A, the reflection and refraction. So here is the Venn diagram. So are you ready to answer learning task 3? compare and contrast reflection and refraction. For the reflection, bouncing back of light when it hits an object. And for the refraction, bending of light as it passes through different materials. And both behaviors of light that strikes in different materials. Okay, so that is my answer. Now, for learning task 3 again, so for letter B, absorption and transmission. So here is the Venn diagram also. Okay, so let us now compare and contrast. Materials taking in light but not reflecting it back. And for the transmission, passing of light through some materials. And both behaviors of light that strikes in different materials. Now, for learning task 4, draw an illustration of opaque, translucent, and transparent materials inside the column. So you have to consider the rubric below in doing the task. So you will get 5 points if the drawing represents clear understanding of the concept. You will get two, uh, 4 points if the drawing represents a somewhat clear understanding of the concept. And you will get 3 points if the drawing represents a quite clear understanding of the concept. And you will get 2 points. If the drawing does not represent the concepts learned, and one point if the drawing lacks detail. Now, for learning task 5, this is a matching type. So, match the definition in column A with the concept in column B, and write the letter of your answer on the space provided before each number. So, for column A, we have... 1. Primary source of light 2. The light that is seen by the human eye 3. The bending of light as it passes through a different material and 4. The bouncing back of light when it hits an object and number 5. Objects that do not allow light to pass through them and then for letter B we have A. Sun B. Refraction C. Reflection D. Opaque E. Visible light and F. Transparent <clears throat> Okay, so let us now have the answers for learning task 5 So, primary source of light the answer is letter A. Sun Okay, the light is seen by the human eye, number 2. Letter E, visible light. Number 3, the bending of light as it passes through a different material. We have letter B, refraction. And for number 4, the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. The answer is C, reflection. And number 5, objects that do not allow light to pass through them. The answer is letter B, copy. Now, for the assimilation, you have to remember that optics is the study of refraction, refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Then, refraction refers to the bending of light, 
Reflection refers to the bouncing back of light. Absorption refers to a material taking in of light. And transmission refers to the passing of light. For the assessment, read each item carefully and choose the letter of the answer. So for number one, a piece of coal appears black when viewed in sunlight because it blank all the light that falls on it. A absorbs, B reflects, C disperses, or D transmits. Number two, a red rose appears red because of its ability to black. A. Absorb the red color and reflect all others. B. Reflect the red colors and absorb all others. C. Transmit all colors except red. And D. Transmit the red color and reflect all others. Number 3. What do you call the bending of light as it passes through different materials? A. Diffraction. B. Reflection. C. Dispersion. Or D. Refraction. Number 4. What do you call the bouncing back of light? A. Transmission. B. Reflection. C. Disper dispersion. And D. Refraction. And number 5. Why do people enjoy the shade of the tree during summer? A. It absorbs light. B. It blocks light. C. It reflects light. Or D. It transmits light. So are you ready to answer the assessment part? Okay, so let us now have the answer for the assessment. So for number one, the answer is a piece of coal appears black when viewed in sunlight because it absorbs all the light that falls on it. Number two, a red rose appears red because of its ability to absorb the red color and reflect all others. Number three, what do you call the bending of light as it passes through different materials? Refraction. Number four, what do you call the bouncing back of light? The answer is reflection. Number five, why do people enjoy the shade of the tree during summer? B. It blocks the light. For the reflection, reflect on what you learned on this lesson about the ability of materials to block, absorb, or transmit light by completing the statements below. So the part of the lesson I believe I learned most about is blank. The task which I found most challenging, blank because blank. And then I realized that I can use what I have learned from this lesson when. And that concludes our lesson for today about how life interacts with different materials. So I hope that you learned more about life. Thank you and God bless. Thank you.